Hello boys and girls, part 3 of Final Fantasy 12 here today and I've just noticed a bloody moth's flying around my light bugger- oh god it's a crane fly. Ugh, creepy friggin' animals. Insects. Um, it's part 3 of Final Fantasy 12. We're gonna head out into the wilderness, we've got to go uh, fight- hunt our first monster. Which in this instance was a rogue tomato. Which I hilariously referred to as a rouge tomato. Um, cause it's red. Tomato tomatoes are red. Fuck off crane fly, Jesus. Fucking Christ, I'm gonna get attacked by dust. Oh. That's a random encounter I didn't want. Right. I hate crane flies. Creepy little things. I like moths. Any any insect that looks dusty to me. Oh, it's things that look like Sid and a T. Oh god, I remember that T Rex. Into the Dalmasca Ester Sand. Right. Was there a thing that told us where to go to fight this thing? No. That mark should be somewhere in Del Mascarest and thanks. Right, so yeah, like before, we're going to play about 20 minutes of this um, and then run off. Oh, there's a thing. Let's kill it. There's a cactite. This will get us some XP. I did like this. The um, overworld in this, um, when I was playing Xenoblade Chronicles, like it gave me massive like feelings and flashbacks to this. Which you know is kind of that's what that's what Genoblade Chronicles remind me of the scope, the size of this. Like it was quite quite cool. Right, I do want to kill a bunch of these. I don't know what level these are yet. Obviously, I think once you've fought them a few times, once you unlock something, it starts telling you what level they are. I seem to be able to manage them though. Should we use a magic? I haven't used any magic yet, have I? Or techniques? Let's steal something from it. Oh. Twagged me. No, nope, couldn't steal anything. No, oh, that's good. Yeah, when you use a skill or anything, it drops back to attack straight away, so it doesn't try to pull that off again. Oh, it's dropped an item. Obtained a windstone. Don't know what that's for. Alright. Let's keep an eye out for tomatoes. There's more than their wolves. Some animals will attack you, if I remember rightly, and some will leave you alone until you attack them. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I do not want that. I am not ready. Not ready for that T Rex thing yet. Oh, something's attacking me. That T Rex thing is a mark that you have to take on later, but I think you have to be about level like 50 something to even stand a chance. Get attacked by two bad dudes at once here. I'm not certain to target him. I've got a wolf pelt and a windstone. Should probably, um,. Use a healing potion. Good job, I've got some. Uh, drinking something a little bit more refined today. I'm on the I'm on the Glenfiddich 12 year variety. Uh, I do love whiskey. Ah. Glenfiddich's one of those whiskies that, um, if you've only ever drank something like Jack Daniels or even Bell's, anything like that. Glenfiddich will take you by surprise when you drink it. It will blow your brains out, but blow the back of your throat apart. Um, it's good whiskey. It's not the strongest whiskey around or anything like that. But um, I like it. It sort of hits this really nice point for me. That I like in a nice, nice dry scotch. Level up! Obtained a cactus fruit. Should we, uh. Not that bomb. Let's look at my licenses, because I've earned a few license points, haven't I? I don't think there's anything I can unlock yet. Yeah, they only need 15 and whatnot. Secure. I don't know what to spec Varn towards. I mean, maybe you guys could uh, tell me what you think I should spec Varn towards, whether you want me to help or hinder me. Whatever. I think early on it'd probably be best to try and um, work on getting sword upgrades and stuff. Because I think he's mostly primarily focused on melee attacks and things. Build board target detail, detailed target information, that'll be helpful. So, yeah, I'll probably go for that and I'll probably get the armor and weapon upgrades because I think he's sort of built towards being a warrior type. I might be wrong. Well, thief type rather. And obviously, he's got the thieving parts. Right, where's that T Rex? Because I do not want to go near it. It's there. Right, I want that to stay away from me. Uh, what's around here? This is a dead end. Oh, wolf attack. Wolf's following me. 
kill it. Oh, oh god, there's another one. I could really do with a party. Oh, I've got more potions if I need them. Oh, he hit me twice. Son of a dick. Right, he's dead. Is there enough? There's another wolf nearby. I just wanted to have a look around. I'm trying to find where the tomatoes are. I don't know where they are. Boom, dead. Drop a potion. No, I don't want a wolf pelt. Nothing out here. That's a dead end. Right. right. Let's get the camera down low because I'm out here on the map. I want to be able to see far ahead. That's one thing on this. The um, enemies only spawn a short distance in front of you. Oh! What's that big red mark? Oh, someone's targeted me. I think that might be the... Yep, to my... There he is. I should probably quickly potion up. Because I've got two enemies on me. Is he running away? Come back here, you little piece of shit. Fuck you up, Redwin. Ugly little creature. Should keep the camera still, sorry. <laughs> Jesus, just double teaming me. Yay, tomato's dead. Or is he running away? You ran away. So I'm going to need to find him again. Let's deal with this wolf. Oh. Yeah, you can improve the speed of your attack later on. I think it's actually moving a little bit faster than it was a minute ago. Gonna need to heal up again. And go find that tomato, which is the big red dot on the map. You see, I noticed it. Yeah, it's got the little free chain thing coming up, which was something that um, was used in Vagrant Story. Because you could chain attacks in Vagrant Story by uh, hitting combinations. Where did it go? There's a sleeping cactus. It was around here somewhere, wasn't it? There it is. Is it the same? It's not the same one, is it? Well, I've only got to kill one of them. <laughs> Need some potions. It's not going well. Ram me. We'll get him. Don't have to do much here. Flame breath. Oh, God. It's almost dead. There you go. And he's out. Rogue tomato. Vanquished. Nice. Some bit of whiskey. Galbana lilies? Oh, take them. That crane flies here, take me. It's flying around the light and causing a shadow to shoot around my room. Ugh. Now skin the tomato. And then boil it inside. This make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. What was that? It? That's your work for the day. Jesus, slacker. Got a handful of gold on these. Right. Let's uh, head back. You yeah, and Sylvester and Sebastian Bark. So I did that. Play on words. Completely inappropriate. Doesn't make sense. Oh, is that a pot? There's something in that. In there. Yeah, treasure. 42 gil. Ah, good old gil. Proper fine fancy currency. Now we're going back to Midgard place, Ravanastra. Medieval Midgard. Oh. Still got like two thirds of a bottle of this Glen Phillips to get through. I've had it for ages. Doesn't go bad. I'm just keep it nice and dark place and cool. Right. Where do we need to go to turn this in? 
back to thingy. Doesn't say. Maybe come. Oh yeah, do, yeah. He did say earlier, didn't he? he Says you go back to the board. Let's uh, quickly save it and nah, I say we finish this. Oh, shit's going down. Can't go past. What's going on here? Oh, they wouldn't let me through. Nothing to do now but wait until the ceremony is over. Can't go in. Oh, no. Find you. As soon as I stepped out, the guards closed the gate and things got crazy. I haven't been able to find her since. So I guess we have to find Penelope. It's not. God, this reminds me of when I worked at EA and uh, now what? John Riccatello came to the Guildford store once. The Guildford store, I mean. Mm, store. Guildford office. And uh, none of us lowly QA guys were allowed to leave right, through the front door. The we had to sneak out through Wait the back, which went onto a housing estate. Still does, obviously. It's us. still there. But yeah, this didn't want any lowly nun executive boy. types going through. I think all the developers have to go out from the back as well, but all the people in the money departments were allowed to leave from the front. There's loads of people there, loads of people filming Riccatello. Not a single bit of it did I see appear on a TV or a website. No news come out of it, he was just there. He just had a camera crew following him around. So I talk over the cutscene. Oh, he stepped on the flowers. Well, that looks alright. It's the same model it had out on the field. Be fine. That does it. God, he's got weird textures. Chocoboy you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? There she is. Yes, yes, different soil means different bouquet too. Take a down basket of rose wine, eh? it may lack the flavour and depth of some of your Arcadian I did actually check that is John Maggio. I it was. <laughs> it's not bad really, once you get used to it. Who else did the voice in this game? Guaranteed Jenna Bales in this song. Their throats, of course. John Dimaggio's done loads of fun you facts and stuff. It's crazy. It Never once done a full Bender voice. He was a Wacker in Final Fantasy X and X2. He does a voice in Final Fantasy XIV, I think, as well. Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. The weird thing with Vaughn's textures is like a tiny little bit of stubble around his chin, which I think is um, Japan's way of saying, yeah, he's older. Okay, well, you know, with their obsession with making everyone look like they're like 15, no matter how old they're meant to be. Right. On we go. He's running. Oh, is this CGI? Shit, copyright strike coming in. Square still haven't released the copyright strike that was on my... Uh, Previous video. I'll see how these go. They've got until the 12th of October to release it, apparently. So they should do. Don't really have any grounds to block someone who's doing a let's play. It's all covered under fair use. That guy's bad. Probably. Some big old ceremony going on. Not really paid attention. Can't remember what happened. It was like three days ago I stopped playing this. I give you your new consul. Actually, it was six His days ago. Imperial Highness Lord Vane Solidor, Commandant of the Arcadian Empire's Western Arm. Your Excellency. What's he doing? Mm-hmm. People of Rabanaster, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? Yes. With hatred you look upon the Empire. Yeah. Straight back to Arcadia. There was little point in asking. But know this. I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. It's got bad looks there. Ask your it really has. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people. Strove to bring you peace. It's a nice looking place. His bit over designed. Was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, 
he remains among you, protecting so he's you. he's dead. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the evil. peace his majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end. Yet still its shadow looms over all, stifling the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. Oh, is he actually upset about the hatred? He's giving one of them speeches that makes him like him. Hatred. Suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Though King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. Cool. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. Now everyone's kind of alright with him. Oh, that's good, they're all easily swayed. Hey, remember when you invaded us? No? Cool. You can think for yourselves. You're all individuals. Why not? He's not the messiah, he's a very naughty boy. Right. Difficult to to your liking, my lord. It is magnificent. Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, yet whimsical in its execution. Over designed, you mean. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. This is going to get a content, content ID strike, isn't it, as soon as I upload it? The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. I am the gallow, your highness. My name is Bender, and I like truly, to bend. It's an honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our eighth uh, future emperor, highness. <laughs> the people of Rabbit Master, join me in welcoming That's you. That's enough for uh, highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but hey, an elected call an emperor, official highness. and nothing more. Call him Excellency. I, I meant no disrespect. Just didn't know proper protocol. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No. Henceforth, I am a citizen of Ravanaster. Why don't you call me Vane? I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me, and we shall drink until you call me by name. Mm. We have a PR spin thing going on there. How can he still have him killed? Like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. Lord Vane never did have you know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? He'd all be like, pow, punched, pow. Well... I'd do something. No, you wouldn't. You'd probably go, huh? And then there'll be like a funny sound effect about like a whoosh. And then you get struck down by a guard or something. So that happens to Japanese anime character type people. Vaughn. Yeah, we know he's Vaughn. Vaughn, you haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? I don't know, I wasn't listening. This place has changed so much. It's like it's not it's like even six minutes of cutscene anymore. now. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. This does let up on the cutscene front as you go along. It kind of opens up fairly quickly. Um, I was talking to one of my friends about it, and he was saying no, that you've, from what you remember the last time you played it, you it kind of in? opens up into letting you go about the world crazy? fairly quickly, it's in the palace, which is good. And we don't have an invitation if you hadn't noticed. So how are we getting in? As if I'd know. You're going for the scene in the Gallo to get you in, or go see old Dallin in Lowtown. Still the back. Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you, Wing I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. She wearing them before. Come on, what do you think? Don't do that pose, If I kid. find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do the first thing you'd buy is an airship. Yeah. 
All hail Bond, Sky part of Damascus. Again, that's nice Skies of Arcadia. That's Damn Skies of Arcadia's plot. Hmm. An airship. The boat is a boat, know. but the mystery box could be anything. Maybe, Maybe even a boat. But not through Magella. Time to pay old Dallin a visit. You're turning that quest, man. Follow the rules. I wish I could remember the names of all the different races in this. Okay, we just focus on them. You're now free to enter Low Town and leave Rabanasta. Alright, we need to go turn in that quest, don't we? Where am I? Or does it not tell? Do I not need to do that? We need to go back to the bar. Let's go back to the bar. Old Dalan in Low Town must know, play, know the way into the palace. That's Low Town down there. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, I'm sure I've got to head to that bar first. So let's go there and turn in Yon Quest. Lots of people to talk to, ignore them all. All boring. I think I'm getting the hang of the analog stick. Left and right turn going the wrong way. Uh, this way. Now we've got the bar coming up. Which is, I mean, I guess I still have to turn this quest in. I guess we're not assuming that it happened in between, uh, in between rounds. During the cutscene. Right, there's the wall. Huh. Not there. Let's pick that up anyway. Fextera and Mutant Wall. Oh, we killed a bunch of them. Yeah, I'll take that. Petitioner, Ghastly, Ravanastra. Seek brave souls for sinking a fearsome BC. My future rests in your swift response. My name is Ghastly. Seek me at the Sand Sea Tavern. Will you go and speak to the petitioner? Yes. The bill's petitioner can be found at the following location. You must speak with the petitioner and formalise the contract. So, yeah, he's in here. <laughs> so, he has a mark somewhere, I would imagine. Does he? I can imagine he surely he does. Barky Ghastly, there you go. You saw my build, build to hunt Fex Terror. If you're looking for Ghastly, you found it. I own a shop over in the bazaar, but times have been tough, so I put in an order for some new goods, hoping to stir up some business. Put up everything I own as collateral against that shipment. Trouble is, this beastie is a wasteland's been attacking the caravans. Don't you? Westerlands. As it happens, my goods are supposed to be arriving by way of the West Sand. West Sand, not Westerland. <laughs> Two, if Fextera were to attack, what of my goods? Please, you must kill Fextera for me. Accept the hunt, and I'll tell you where to find it. Now we're talking. Fextera stalks the western sands in a region known as Galtier Downs. The caravan driver said they were set upon along a cliff wall to your left as you leave the city by the west gate. Cool. We'll try and remember that. Right, I need to sort out that quest. I'm sure you have to turn it. it doesn't just end, does it? Uh, is it on Clan Primer? Hunts. Tamaj. Road to Martyr Road to Tamaj at the Sand Sea Tavern. So I just need to find Tamaj in here. Right. So, where is he? There he is. Ah, oh, Van. Defeated that rogue Tamaj, did you? I was worried you might not be ready just yet. But you did a fine job of it. Here. That's not a sentence. Your bounty for completing the hunt. Da -da 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 I just froze it in my face. 300 gil, potion, sweet teleport stone. You followed through on the hunt like a real professional. I'm going to let you in on a little something to help you along. Did you ever notice a bangar standing watch in front of the building in the north end? Nope. It might be worth your time to pay him a visit. Show him the clan primer I gave you. He'll let you inside. As for what's there, you'll just have to go see for yourself. Oh, it's the clan headquarters, isn't it? So, do we want to go do that now? I don't know how long this episode's been running for. I'm not really that bothered because I've um, got nothing to do. <laughs> Should we do that? It's the north thing, wasn't it? Where, where is it said? Uh, low town to low town. So there's different ways to low town. I don't know which ones. I'm guessing that's the north quarter, is it? Whatever you said. My shoulder button's not working. Right. Um, 
Yeah. He said up the north. Oh, we were in the Esther Sand. There's the Wester. Esther. Wester. Right. So let's go. Let's go find the Bangar. They're Bangars. Now I remember. Was it the bunnies that were Bangars? Oh, Jesus. I do like the bunnies. What's this? Stairwell to Lowtown. No, that's where I want to go in a minute. Uh, your Moore's Gambits. Is that the place? He said there was a banger standing outside a door somewhere. Is it this guy? No? What does he say? No. Just a generic guy. Uh, I really wish I could just rewind the video and see what he said there. But this guy. Nah, end of that incident. Let's see. What about this guy? There we started the face of the pie soon, that's not him. Right. What am I missing? What's this place? We don't know. And there's a banger. Conspicuous banger. Ah, you've got your primer, so you you so you have well, you're standing about. What are you standing about yeah, out here for? In with you. Can't blind read accents. Can't quite recall your face, are you new? Might want to pay special heed to what folks inside have to say. Well, you're going in or not? Yeah, sure. If I remember right, this is the clan guild or something. They give you jobs. Is there a coupo that gives you jobs? If I remember rightly? Not coupo. Mog, 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 mog thing. Yeah, the mogs. Yeah, that little thing. Him. That little bugger. Some rabbit dude. Right. Let's go upstairs and talk to that little bitch. Well, Mont Blanc. Coupo. Your face is new. Are you a hunter, Coupo? Welcome to our clan hall, Coupo. I'm Mont Blanc, founder of Clan Centurio. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Coupo. Our clan has a very strict entrance examination. We should begin yours at once. And you pass. Moogles, Moogles, that's what they're called, are quick to make up their mind, Coupo. Ah, cool. That was easy. Here in the clan hall, you'll hear about especially dangerous marks you won't find posted on any board the moment they rear their ugly heads. Well, I'll get on with that filing the necessary clan membership certificates. I'll be finished in no time flat. Coupo, I nearly forgot. Now that you're a member... You can make purchases from our clan shop in the Mufru Bazaar. Be sure to stop by, Kupo. Happy hunting, Kupo. Right, cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, remind me if I miss anything. Comments below, all that jazz. Right, let's go find a safe spot. We'll head down to the lower... The lower block, or whatever it is. Right. Which there was an entrance, uh, not here, it's around the other side, wasn't it? Let's cut through this way to be quicker. I don't know how you meant to have noticed that guy stood there. But it did, yeah, it did set you out roughly in that area. Right. Right, let's head down here. Because that's where we're meant to be going, isn't it? It did say. Old Delan in Lowtown must know the way to the palace. So we'll head towards him, we'll try and find a save point to save this and call this part free. <sighs> Glenfiddich. It's good shit. You don't mix it with coke. Don't do that. Don't do that shit. Like, you only mix whiskey with coke when it's not real whiskey, you know, when it's Jack Daniels. There's people down here. They're all poor. Is there a save point down here? No. <laughs> but he's right the way down the bottom. Right. So we want to go this way. Right. It's like a little market. It's the Grand Bazaar. From uh, 
Where's the Grand Bazaar? Oh, Battlefield 3. That's where Grand Bazaar is. I kid. It was in Constantinople. Right. So he should be down here somewhere. This looks a lot like one of the first dungeons you go into in uh, Dark Chronicle. Which is another game I might play actually on here one day. Oh, treasure. 43 gil. I'm rich. Right, it was around here, wasn't it? It's right here. It's in that shop. This place? Dalan's house, there you go. Nice tiles on the wall. Right. If you haven't seen, I uh, posted a video earlier for a game called Color Symphony, which is uh, a rough but quite interesting little puzzle platformer. Come for a tip on how to skewer something bigger and in armor by right. the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Nice Wise beard. I may not be, but well informed I am. And there's rabbit people. Is that someday. rabbit like Don't a baby even. one of them? But that's not why I'm here. Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. <sighs> They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> Not one do mince words, are you, boy? The Empire you protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. All right, Robin Hood. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Yar. Ah. Now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls, a door, and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So, where's this uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years. Ooh. If I can remember, in well, the book? I've tucked is it, it in the book? Is it anything to do with the book? There's a book there. Is it the book? Heard all I need. So this uh, crescent stone, can I have it? He didn't say it was a crescent stone. Then I can find the secret passage to the palace, right? Not much of a listener, are you? The crescent stone has lost its magics. Without the power of sunstone, it will be of little use. Who's that? Just eavesdropping in on our plan to break into the prison. Right, so where can I get one of these sunstones? You seek Giza Plains. Speak with the nomads there and you'll find the sunstone. Leave by Southgate and continue south. The village is not far. There are likely there are like to be beasts on the plains. There there are like to be beasts on the plains. So be careful, mm boy. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. But what was that book? I wanna Oh, I'm just talking to the kid. I don't wanna go to Giza Plains, who's that? You want to talk to the Moon Lord of Cartographers Guild in South Plaza before you leave Giza? It can't hurt to have a map. Right, I'll have to remember that. But let's go uh, head out. It's going to be a 30 minute plus episode, this, isn't it? Oh, so much for my 20 minute timers. I'm going to get a bit more gameplay. It's better to get more gameplay to cutscene. Let's see, Giza Plains. Hang right here, and I'm practically at Southgate. This will be easy. Right, is your right the same as my right? Because when I turn the analog stick to turn around, it's not the same. Got that door opened easily. <laughs> Just like brushed his fingers across it. Here we are. And there's a red safe crystal. Ah. You can teleport. Right, so let's save it here. And we'll call this a day. Like I said, there's loads of stuff in this I've forgotten. Because it has been about seven years. So, let's see. Save the game. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. I'm still a Moppet. I hope I'm not a Moppet anymore. I mean, I've joined. Oh, no, I'm still a Moppet. That's not fair. Right. So, yeah. We'll call that the end of episode three. Um, I'll probably record another one tomorrow. Who knows? Um, one thing I'd like. Not that anyone's going to have got this far in the video. Check my videos page and tell me whether you prefer the bright, colourful, eye-catching, like, thumbnails, 
or the plain white ones with just the text and stuff on them because I'm kind of undecided between the two and I'm kind of thinking of going with quite a minimalist look for the channel because I, I want to be different from all the other YouTube channels. I don't want to be the big screamy, shouty types and the attention grabbing. I'm certainly not having pictures of my face looking, pulling faces on the thumbnails. That's definitely not happening. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think about that and we'll call this the end of episode three. Bye!